Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage and today we're going to be talking about how this channel is getting a makeover. We're actually on our way to Best Buy to pick up some camera equipment. Stick around. So basically, first off, you notice this person over here. This is uh, this is Rachel. She's my uh, my girlfriend, and uh, she'll be our chauffeur for the day, just to free me up so I can talk to you guys a little bit. But uh, essentially, what we're doing is we're headed off to Best Buy to get some camera equipment. Now, if you don't know that when I film my vlogs and I film my stuff in the studio and and pretty much where I'm filming anywhere, I'm filming with primarily two cameras and those two cameras are either my iPhone X or my iPhone 8? 6 Plus? 6 Plus, right, 6 Plus. So those are the two cameras that I'm using but I'm running into just a lot of frustrations and a lot of issues when I go to do stuff. So because I'm running into these issues, I, it's just becoming very frustrating. And I know, you know, you go online, you'll check a lot of YouTube stuff, and it's like, you know, use what you have, and everyone has a smartphone, so record using your smartphone. And, you know, that's what I was doing for a while, but it's just, let, let me be the first to tell you, it starts off being, it's like the honeymoon phase in a relationship. You're like, wow, this is the best thing, I don't have to buy anything, I have my camera, I'm good to go, awesome. And then you start, running into finding out the true colors and the true problems and the true issues that run into not being able to do any manual control of your exposures and your and your white balance and your focus and yes you can do apps like filmic pro and and whatnot to get access to those controls but even those have their issues sometimes and basically it just becomes very frustrating and then if you're filming in 4k your file sizes become really huge so you built the phone quick and then it's hard to offload those files from your phone to the computer to do editing and everything on them and basically the long story short I guess that's a little too late now but it's gotten bad if I'm filming on my iPhone X and I don't know, someone calls me, it interrupts the video that I'm shooting. I went through, did a bunch of research, and trying to figure out exactly what it was that I wanted to get, what I was trying to get out of it, what type of, what are you looking at? Um, driving. Oh, you're looking in the mirror, I thought you were looking at me. No. I thought I was so cute, you just couldn't keep your eyes off me. I can't keep my eyes off you, but I am driving. Okay. I forgot you were driving. <laughs> um, what's this? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're in a car? Oh, jeez. And it's moving? It's a moving car? Wow. I looked through what I wanted to get, what I wanted to get out of it, and I... Basically, there's... It can be very overwhelming. Let me be very honest with you guys. Searching for a camera is very overwhelming because there's so many options. It's like... Do you want a point and shoot? Do you want a DSLR? Do you want a mirrorless DSLR? It's like... Then once you figure out, okay, well, I want this and I want that, then what kind of lenses do you want if you have interchangeable lenses? And the whole thing just becomes very overwhelming very quickly. But I trudged through it. And I've been doing this research for a while because it's been it's been just bothering me trying to work with my, my iPhone to do the filming with. And I finally made a decision, and I'll tell you what I settled on. I settled on getting a Canon M50 camera. Why did I choose that? Well, primarily because essentially it seems to be the current best vlogging camera and I figured, you know what? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's very lightweight. I'm looking for something that can shoot uh, for, uh, 4K but can also do 1080p really well. I was looking for something that had interchangeable lenses so I could pop different lenses on and off of it to adjust them depending on what I'm doing. Here's what we're doing. I was going to buy it online because, you know, I'm, I'm Mr. I love buying everything online. But 
there was no savings to be had buying it online, meaning the price at Best Buy was the exact same price at Amazon. So then you might be saying, but wait, maybe you don't have to pay sales tax. Well, that's unfortunate because buying it from Amazon, at least where I live in New Jersey, was having sales tax added to it. So whether I bought it from Amazon or I bought, buy it from Best Buy, it was the same price identically. So I figured, why not make a little trip out of it, take you guys along for the ride, and uh, go buy it. Have the experience of actually buying something instead of just clicking a button on the internet. Thought that'd be pretty fun. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Obviously this won't be very quad and drone related, but it is channel related because it is getting new equipment for this channel. And then what we're gonna do when we get back, we'll do a little unboxing, we'll check it out, and then, you know, maybe do a little review on it too, why not? Might as well. All right, you got anything else you wanna add? I'm just gonna sit there and look cute? Okay, that's fine. It's like Penn and Teller, you don't talk and I talk. <laughs> So we are at the Palisades Mall in West Nyack, New York. Kind of got a little hungry on our way here, so we're actually going to hit up the food court and then head up to Best Buy. So come on, let's go. So Houston, we may have a problem. They're showing that they have it in stock, but they're also having a difficulty time finding it. Oh no. Also got ourselves a uh, little bag to carry it in, a little backpack, a little low pro action. You know me and low pro. We're digging it like that. Oh, what's this going on here? Craziness going on. Anyway. 
so we're gonna be uh, heading out. All right, guys, so we're back in the car. We're headed back. We actually have a couple stops to make on our way home, but yeah, I was actually really nervous because pretty much everything I came there to get was not there. So for example, the first thing I looked for was the memory card figure, and that's an easy thing I can just grab off the shelf and have in my hand. The card was empty. There was nothing hanging there. I looked through all of them. I thought, well, maybe they have it behind another one. They did not have the Extreme Pro, and I wanted the Extreme Pro. They only had the Extreme Plus. And they didn't have it, so I was getting nervous about that. Then, I cannot tell, how many, how many cabinets did this dude look in? He looked in like five cabinets, but the first cabinet that it was actually in, he was in that cabinet like four times. Yeah, like literally, he opened the cabinet, didn't find it. He looked in like many, like four or five other cabinets, couldn't find it. Then he looked back in the original cabinet two or three times and couldn't find it. Then he went and asked, like maybe asked someone, and then he walked away, and then he came back. I was getting very nervous. Thankfully, thankfully, he found it. And it was actually in the original case, right? It was like right in front of us. So... Don't worry, I filmed all that. He might not realize that, but I did. Nice. Might not have filmed it well, and his head might have been cut off, and the mic probably wasn't aimed right, but I did make an honest effort to film it. She's honest. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a very honest camera girl. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a little bit more of her in, the, in on the channel. We're actually going to try to teach her to fly. She's never flown before in her life. I think it might be, uh, this might be the, uh, the season. Old water. Why do you got to advertise it's old water? And it's dry. You ever drink old water and it has, like, that dry taste to it? And you're like, oh, this is old water? So that was our day. Had a lot of intrigue, had a lot of uh, conflict. I was worried I wasn't gonna get my camera today and my whole idea of coming out for an adventure to pick up the camera would have been kind of a wasted trip that I couldn't come back with anything. But thankfully, not only did I come back with the camera and the memory card, but I decided I was in the spending mood and I splurged. I actually bought a nice camera bag too and it's Low Pro brand, which as you guys know, I rocked the Low Pro uh, bag for my quad. Speaking of being a Patreon, you know, I'm trying to make this more towards like my full-time deal doing this now, so I'm gonna try to dedicate a little bit more time, a little more effort into doing this channel stuff now that I'm getting this camera and everything. And if you'd like to help support the channel, one really awesome way that you can do that is you can join the Patreon family. There'll be a link in the description below. And it, it's very minimal, you know, maybe a, a dollar a month. You can even, you know, every dollar helps. And, you know, it helps me bring more content and buy more products to help, you know, fly them, review them, and show them to you guys. And the more I have, the more I can do giveaways and everything else for everyone. So it makes everyone happy. So if you got another dollar or something to spare, maybe hook me up on the, the Patreon page and join the family. There's also exclusive benefits that you'll get for being a Patreon subscriber. I'm working on setting up like a Discord so you guys can chat with me like live, doing some live streaming so that you guys can be, you know, on live live streams. It's like a lot of live there. But you get what I'm saying. So, you know, maybe check that out. Helps me out and gives you something to do. And also, if you haven't yet, maybe hit that subscribe button, hit the bell while you're at it. Makes finding the videos a lot easier, and that doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe on YouTube. But again, that helps me out, gets my subscriber number up, and I actually got some big surprises coming up because we're, we're getting close to that 1,000 subscriber milestone. And for any YouTube creator, that's actually a pretty big, you know, milestone to mild stone. It's not the extreme stone, it's the mild stone. Or the hot stone, mild stone, like salsa. I don't know. Milestone. It's pretty it's a pretty decent milestone for most uh, YouTube creators. And uh, I definitely have some things planned out. I have some things I want to give away. We're gonna we're gonna basically have a little whole party action going on. We're gonna be giving away some stuff and everything's gonna be great. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please, please hit that subscribe button. What? Party. 
It's party. That was an amazing trip. I had an awesome time running out to Best Buy and actually going through the purchase process and actually talking to people. I know this world that we kind of live in, and I'm fully guilty of this too. We hop on the internet, hop on Amazon, clickety click, 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 and then, you know, the UPS guy drops something off at our front door. So it's actually kind of cool getting out there, talking to a sales rep, getting a little, you know, his thoughts, his opinions, and doing a little shopping. You know, I know, I know you girls out there, you do this all the time, but the, us guys, we kind of just go and grab something and leave. So it was kind of cool doing that, but got our stuff. We're back home. Now I'm going to talk about it and show you what I got, essentially. So, first off, let's go with the, you know, work our way up to the 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 high point, which is going to be the camera. But let's start with the littler stuff first. So, we got the memory card that's going to go inside this camera. So, essentially, I went with the Extreme Pro uh, SD card by SanDisk. Basically, I just wanted the fastest, most bestest card that I could get. Because when you're shooting, you know, let's say you're doing some regular photography and you're just doing some burst shots or you're shooting in 4K, you're going to need a lot of speed reading and writing from this card. So I just wanted the fastest one possible. It would just work and I wouldn't have to worry about it. I wouldn't have to worry about buffering because what I read about this camera was it does have a smaller buffer. So if there's any kind of hiccup writing to the card, it can slow things down. So that being said, it was only a couple dollars more to go with the Pro versus the Plus version. And even looking online, doing like bench test marks, the speeds of reading and writing this card in that camera is actually ideal and works out really well. I also opted for the 64 gig version just because the 128 gig card, which is twice the storage, was actually a little bit more than twice the price of this card, which kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't, because then you have the same amount of storage, but it's all in one card as I kind of swap it out. And I thought, you know what, if ever there's a time where I'm shooting something that I need to like need that much space, I'll just buy a second 64 gig card. I thought for now, especially the purchase price of buying the camera and a service plan, of course, because I'm going to, in case you drop it, you know, it covers that. So bought the, per the insurance plan. It was quite expensive. So I figured I can cut back a little bit on the memory card and just go with the 64 gig. So that's what's going to go in the camera. Speaking of what's going in the camera, how about we talk about what the camera is going to go in? And I did pick up a nice bag here, and you can see it is by Low Pro. I am a fan of their products. I do use a Low Pro as my bag when I go out flying, and it's nice to get one of these ones for the uh, camera bag as well. It has pretty much a very similar configuration. Uh, the one that I chose here is the um, M Trekker BP 150. There we go. And what really got me intrigued by this ca this camera bag was that it had the same functionality as the one that's for uh, our drones that I use, in that it has this back compartment. Let me show you. You open it up from the back. And it opens up and in the back here you can put all your different lenses and these are all velcro so you can move these all around you can put whatever you want in these compartments here and have full control of how you're gonna put stuff in where you're gonna put it and have all your lenses and I am gonna purchase online a couple of lenses for this camera because Best Buy didn't have them in stock so I'm gonna order them online but they did have the camera in stock so I said why not so here's where you have all that storage also over here, you got some storage here and little mesh packs so you can see what's going on in these little pockets. Maybe put some cabling in there or something. Up here, it's even got a spot. It shows for a um, tablet. So you can put like a, an iPad in here if you wanted just so that you have like a device. Maybe you're going to, um, well, this camera has Wi-Fi. So I could actually have this camera communicate with the iPad and upload the pictures as I take them to the iPad and I can view them on a nice big screen. So it's kind of cool. They give you a spot to put that in. It also shows here it has little spots to put your uh, memory cards. So you have a little pockets to put memory cards. So like I mentioned, if I do end up with multiple memory cards, it's got spots right there for them. I mean, how, how great is that? And then zip that up. What I also liked is that for running and gunning, you can just get quick access to your camera with this top zipper. You open that up and you have your compartment where your actual camera would be. So you can just grab your camera 
and out you go. And you can just lay it down. Your lens would be pointing up so that it would fill this domed area. And you can just grab your camera, take your shots, or if you want any of your gear, then you can take your bag off and switch out your lenses or whatever else you're doing. So I, I just like that quick access. And then it also has a pocket in the front here just for whatever papers or anything you want to put in there. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got these pockets on the side, good for like, you know, putting like a water bottle or something like that. Got one on each side, so if you want to hydrate while, you know, filming, you can. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got these little buckles on the bottom. Not sure what you'd do those for, maybe just to snug it up a little bit in case, uh, you know, you change the configuration of this and it gets a little floppy. You can tighten these up so it pulls that this bottom in a little tighter maybe. Not sure. So, yeah, that's that's what really I was really pleased about this bag. I mean, it was expensive as low pro bags go. Um, it was like $120, something like that. But I said, you know what? This is th the idea behind this bag is to protect your camera. So I don't want to chintz out on a bag and have it, you know, just not be very protective. And what's nice, it's the backpack. So, you know, it's easy to carry around all your stuff because on your back, it's not hanging in front of you. It's not like in your hand. Really quick update on this bag. I actually, it's one of those things where you, you read the directions, you kind of learn a little bit. So I was kind of reading through the little paperwork that's attached to the outside and I actually learned a couple things. One, these straps down here, what you use these for is, let's say you have like a Joby Gorilla Pod or any kind of like a larger tripod, but not necessarily a giant like full size one, but one that you would, you know, for um, vlogging or a tabletop style, you put that across here so it's not taking up space on the inside. There's it with the Joby Gorilla Pod. And another thing I discovered, it's got this little compartment here where it stores the raincoat. It actually has a raincoat for the bag. So if you're caught out in the rain, you open this up and you can pull it up. I'll show you a picture of it with the rain jacket on. How crazy is that? I didn't even realize it had those features. And that just makes it all the all the worth it because how many times have we been out there and you start looking like, eh, it might be a little sketchy out right now. And all of a sudden it starts to rain or whatever. You can just pull that up and over and boom, now you don't have to worry about your stuff inside getting soaking wet and leaking through and damaging stuff, especially when you have camera equipment in here. That's huge. And last but not least, drum roll please. The camera. Canon EOS M50, supposedly the best vlogging camera out right now as of this filming of this video. And you know, right now I'm filming this on my, my iPhone. My iPhone X right now is what I'm filming on. I'm filming in 4K. I'm using Filmic Pro as uh, the software to film with. And you know what? It, it, it works, but if I get a text message, if I get a phone call, it, it's a pain to take stuff off the camera. It's just annoying. Um, it's it's convenient that it's in your pocket, so on the go, if you just want to grab it and do something, that's cool. But like here in the studio, it'd be nice just to have like a real camera, just to like set up manual controls, manual, you know, everything. You can really put different lenses on it, get different effects and stuff. And that's why I decided to go with the um, the EOS M50. Had every it ticked off every box that I had for what I wanted to do. 4K external mic jack, uh, 1080p with the two pixel best focusing for doing like you know regular HD footage when you're out in the field. Uh, 4K for when you're sitting it up on a tripod. It's got um, touch screen. It's got a tilt screen. It's got it's got all kinds of features. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. All right, so here we go. We have the EOS M50 official unboxing, which will become the new camera for the channel. Big upgrade here, guys, big upgrade. So let's see what we got inside. Open it up. And we got some paperwork. Holy moly. All right, that is a user manual. I mean, I'm sure it's different languages. Yeah. So as the bars go, that is the manual for English, this portion. But still, that is a manual. But I guess, obviously, for a camera, you know, of this quality and of this level, you're going to have like a book of a manual, which is kind of cool. 
some sort of online whatever who cares open this up oh comes with its own uh, neck strap which is really cool because I was actually looking at neck straps though the one question I have is this if ne this neck strap has a quick release because sometimes you want to take the neck strap off and this one does not have it. So I will have to still buy a neck strap that has the quick releases on it because, you know, not always you want to have that neck strap on there. Like, for example, if it's on a tripod in the studio here, I don't need the neck strap attached to it. I can take that off so it's not in the way. So we have a couple of things here. This is probably going to be the battery here. So let's pull that out. We have the little battery pack. Little battery pack for Canon. And it does have the little cap on it to help protect the uh, contacts in here. So we got the little battery. And then I guess this is the camera. Actually, let's take everything out of the box and then we'll take it out of the packaging. So we have, this is gonna be the charger. And this I'm sure is going to be the kit lens. And I got it with the kit lens because actually from what I'm hearing, this kit lens is actually not too bad at all. I am gonna buy a couple other lenses. So there's the lens it comes with. It's a uh, it's a 15 to 45 millimeter. Yeah, it goes from 3.5 to 6.3 um, stop. So it's a little bit darker of a of a lens, but still, it's a nice little all around uh, nice lens to have for your camera. While we're here, let's just grab the battery charger. We're gonna need to charge up our pack. So let's get that open. Well, this is pretty simple and pretty easy here. It just flips out, plugs in the wall, and you hook your battery into here. So, let's get this set up. There, done. Plug it in the wall, and it'll tell me when it's done being charged. And then I can actually play with my camera. Speaking of playing with the camera, here it is. Little wrapped up all nice nice, like a little Christmas present to myself. Woo! Oh, I got chills. It is nice. It feels good in the hand. Love this, got a real nice finish to it. Again, one of the things on my list that it had to have is a mic input. And there it is right there, mic input, which is very, very important when you're doing some vlogging because the, in, the, the internal mics on these cameras are just not the greatest. They don't sound so great. On this side, we got some HDMI action and USB. So it's over here, open this up. There's where our memory card goes and our battery goes. And in fact, while we uh, while we got it open here, let's get this guy rocking and rolling in there. Why not? Probably been better if I had like a scissor, but that got the job done. Okay. Comes in a little case, which is nice. I'm gonna save that case because in case I ever have to take this memory card out of the camera, just store it in my bag. I have that camera ready, that case ready to go. And it inserts just like so. And that's in there ready for when my battery's all nice and charged. It's got the nice flip out screen so you can view it as you're behind the camera. You can use it to tilt if you want to like, you know, get those low shots or you can tilt it this way if you want to get those high shots or you can flip it all the way around for selfie mode which is great. Yeah, it's good feel in the hand. It's nice and small, I mean, it's mirrorless, but it has that like DSLR feel to it. Really happy, really, really, really happy. Let's put this lens on here. There we go. Now you can see what it looks like with its kit lens on. Can't wait to use this thing. This channel is going to get so awesome. Or at least the quality of the video, I hope, gets awesome. Because I hope this is going to... Well, you know what? Let, let's talk. All right, I had to go plug in that battery because I want that to charge as quick as possible so I can start playing with this new camera. So anyway, the biggest reason why I bought this primarily was I want to streamline the workflow of creating content for you guys so that I can get better and more content out to you guys. Cause essentially I'm gonna to try to transition to doing this more of a full-time thing, try to get out videos a little bit more often, more regularly, and 
have a little bit more in interaction with you guys. Little things here and there that I can do to try to help improve the channel. But remember, that does come with cost. This is an expensive camera. You know, there, there's obviously more expensive cameras, but this still is a pretty, pretty decent purchase. This camera is like $700 uh, with the lens. And then the memory card is like $30 and the service plan and the bag. And I'm also going to get a couple more lenses. There is a pretty big expense to try to, you know, bring you guys great content. You know, there is costs involved with that. And as I mentioned when I was in the car earlier, you know, perhaps you want to help support the channel by joining your Patreon family. That's, I really appreciate that. Means a lot to me. And maybe, you know, maybe that's not into you. Well, the, there's going to be other ways that you can help support the channel later on. The easiest one is just subscribing. If you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, there's no cost involved, but it does help me out because it, you know, brings my subscriber base up and that's always a good thing. Uh, secondly, if there's affiliate links in the description below about any products that I have, you know, clicking those links and making your purchases through them, that helps me out too. I get a little bit of a kickback and that helps support the channel to bring you good content. And we're going to be having other things coming up. Like you may have noticed in a couple of videos, I have uh, my Tronage Pagoda antennas that I actually hand make. I'm going to be selling those too. So stay tuned for that to be coming out. So you can, you know, by purchasing the antennas, it actually helps support the channel as well. I want to play with this camera. So I'm going to go check that battery, see if it's charged yet. The next day. Oh, but wait, there's more. So basically last night after I tried, uh, you know, after I charged the battery, I tried to use the camera being all excited and happy to try to, you know, check it out and turned it on and nothing happened. It wouldn't turn on. So I charged the battery overnight just maybe I did something wrong and uh, still nothing. So came back here to Best Buy, there you go, and uh, very helpful. I got a, uh, a new one off the shelf, got a little exchange action going. So uh, we'll go home, try this one out, and hopefully I have a little better results. Later that same evening. And here we are. This is now video being shot for the very first time on the Canon M50 camera to be used as part of this channel. So the color should be a little bit more vibrant. The look should be just a little bit more crisper. I'm doing a little bit of extra fancy stuff, like I'm filming in a log type format where it's like neutral colors and then I'm doing color grading later on, so hopefully it looks really vibrant. If you notice back here, the backdrop now has what's called bokeh, where it's more out of focus compared to me. And I don't know, hopefully this should look really nice and crispy and good and it'll improve my workflow. And we'll see how it goes. But so far, so good. I'm liking the camera. I've had a chance to use it for a little while. Not quite to the point where I'm going to give a full review on it. But I will say that it's a great camera if you just want to point and shoot. It's a great camera if you want to learn how to get into these kind of cameras. Because it has sort of like a full auto. You just click the button and you go. It has kind of like half auto modes where you can kind of use it manually a little bit like manual light and then it's got like a full manual mode where you can just go crazy and do all your settings manual as well so it's kind of cool that it has all these different features and it really broadens the spectrum of who's you know obtainable with this camera and who can use it effectively and it's a great you know i'm learning a lot by going through it so overall really happy with my purchase Really happy that I have this for the channel, and I hope that, you know, you can see some improvement in the video. And uh, moving forward, you know, I'll still be bouncing around between, you know, this camera and the iPhone, just because the iPhone's a little bit more familiar, but also because sometimes if I want something really quick, I might just grab my phone and use the phone while I'm still in the process of learning the workflow with this camera. So, but overall, awesome. So, I'm excited, I'm happy, and as always, my name is Tronage, Fly strong.